Remember, use that other hand if you have to sometime. This time, let me see you ride with two hands. Put one hand on each side of the knot, like I showed you with the pony. And then if you got to, slide that hand down and turn the horse's face. There you go. Pull it this way. Pull it. Tap your feet and come on. Now you can let it go. So it's the same way. Okay? Sometime when you're trying to turn her and she ain't going, then reach down there and use both hands and turn that face a little bit, all right? Walk up between that old trash, right between that fence right there and that, and that stuff right there. Get your horse over here. You going, look. Look at me. You going right through there. That look. Pull it over there and kick, kick. Two hands, use two hands. Use the other hand and pull her face the other way. Put two hands in, on, the, on the reins like I showed you, baby. Don't get scared, just trust me, now kick. Keep two hands on that liqueur. Use the other hand to turn her face the other way, baby. Don't get nervous, don't get scared. Now put your hand forward. Put your other hand on there like I showed you and turn her face this other way. Look here, slide that hand down. Slide the other hand down. Now put the other hand. You all right? You all right? Now let that one go. Put the other hand down. Slide the other hand down. Hold it with this hand. There you go. There you go. Now just pull her on over there. Now kick. Kick. Pull that face on around. Now, now go. And kick and smooch. Keep both hands on there. Don't take them off. Quit taking them off. Keep both hands on there. There you go. Don't get scared. It's okay to get scared, but keep listening and keep doing what I ask you to do, okay? Now you can let her face go now. But you got to be able to, if you need her face to come this way, you got to change hands. Remember, Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. See, so now, put this hand back on the rein. Put this hand back on here like, keep it on top. On, come over the top. Open your hand up, open your hand up. Come back over the top, just like that. So now hold that, let this go, put it on here, reach down and pull your horse's face the way you want it to go. Now all you gotta do is let it go and come back up to your knot. But then you come back up and you keep both hands so I want you to keep both hands on each side of the knot. Don't worry about this tail right here. That's why I want you to keep both hands. You can slide and use that, come back, let it slide back up, and you can slide and use this one, and you can always come back, okay? Just come back up to your knot. Turn the other way. Keep your hand on top of it and just work it with your fingers, just like that. Good job. Now, come up to your knot. Good job. There you go. Stay on your knot. So I'll put that knot up there. Naturally, she's learned to kind of hold that saddle horn a little bit for balance, which is okay right now. But later on, she'll learn to balance herself in that saddle. She's on the 
on a bigger horse with a lot of more horsepower and she gets a little nervous and that's okay because this is only her second time riding a big horse in her life. And now she's riding it without me out in front of her. So, so that's okay. And Darlin fights that bit a little bit and I know it, but I'm letting her work. I'm letting Darlin work through this bit. So Darlin come from a place with a lot of bad training, a lot of bad habits, man. And, and we've been working through it. And a horse with bad habits is just like a recovering addict. You know, it's not a quick fix. And, and they can be doing great. And all of a sudden, they want to go back to what they used to do. And if you don't have an experienced rider to, to say, uh-uh, we're not going to do that. And next thing you know, they're right back into doing the uh, bad habits that they had. So whoever started Darling, man, they, they, they was hard on her mouth. Uh, they whooped her with the reins a lot, I could tell. Gouged her with the spurs a lot. And then they got scared of her. And Darling learned that, that she could strike a little fear in people. So now go back to riding with one hand right in front of the knot. But when she don't turn, be ready to use both hands, okay? So now you're just going to ride with pointing which kind of guy, pointing with your hand where you're at, where you want her to go. But then if she don't do it, then put that other hand on there. There you go, baby. This young lady, this young lady's learning. But this young lady got a good teacher, man. I'm out, guys. I'm out.